Well hi everyone. Thanks for visiting my channel today. Today I'm going to do a repeat try at a feathery effect in pendants. I tried this one a couple days ago after seeing Steve McDonald do it on his channel and I thought it just looked absolutely wonderful. But mine were a total failure. Mine came out with a lot of bubbles in them. You can see a little bit of the dye effect there on the edge, but so many bubbles, they were just absolutely ruined. But I think I learned from my mistake and I figured out what I did wrong. So there were actually two things. One is I should have gotten rid of all the bubbles before I added my layer of dye. <clears throat> the second thing is after adding the dye, and putting in the white sinker, I should have let it sit for maybe 45 minutes before I tried to do the design in it. So today we're going to try to do it right and see if we can get a better result. But like I've said before, we all have failures. I do, you will too. And the best thing we can do is try to learn from our mistakes. So I'm going to pour the resin in the molds. I'm not going to use all of these, just some of them. And I'm going to leave a couple millimeters in the top, not only for the dye, but for the, um, the white sinker that I'm going to use. And then for mixing, I don't want to overflow when I'm running my pin through there. Okay, now I've held back some dye, or excuse me, I've held back some resin for adding the white to, because that'll sink the dyes to the other side of the, to the front of the pendant. So I'm just going to start with some red. Actually, I'm going to get all my caps off first, because I want to go fairly quickly on this. Aha, uh -huh, but I almost forgot the step that I just talked about, which is getting rid of the bubbles. That would be awful if I made the same mistake twice in a row. Okay, so I'm just going to torch these really quick. When I did these the first time, I used a different kind of resin, and it was almost frothy on top. It was so full of bubbles. Okay. So I'm going to do my red dye just in a corner. And then I'm going to come back with this blue. Just let's resin alcohol inks. I want to get a lighter color in there, so I'm going to do some yellow. and some purple. I can see they're starting to mix a little bit in the center, but 
Not enough. We need them, need them out at the edges. Just don't want any too big of clear spots. Okay, I think that's good enough. I'll mix my white in here. And we want it, we don't want it too light, we want it a nice milky color. Now realize with so much alcohol ink floating on the surface, it's very flammable. And when it if I were to take a flame to the to this right now, it would catch on fire with a very low blue flame and it might be really easy to not see, which makes it dangerous. So don't take a flame to it at this point. Okay, see the color of that? Okay. So now we want to pour the white in a very thin stream. We don't want to do drops. We want to drizzle it across here. And this is going to make the dye sink to the front of the pendant. So don't be too stingy with it. Look at those colors. Now it looks like a rainbow. That is so pretty. I love the heart. Okay, now we're just going to let it sit until the resin gets tacky. So when we touch the resin, we want it to come up in strings. And then we're going to um, run a design through it with a pin. Now in the meantime, there's a few holes in it. Or excuse me, in the meantime, there's a few air bubbles in it. And I just said don't take a torch to it. So here's what we do. Because I used this Envirotex light, there's a really unique feature of this brand of resin and that it reacts with carbon monoxide. So we can take a straw and we can breathe on it through a straw and that will pop the air bubbles. You see that? It's really cool. You don't want to breathe so hard that you're moving the resin around, just enough to get your breath on it. And it's going to keep off gassing for a few minutes, so I just come back every couple minutes and I do this with the straw and that should take care of all the air bubbles. So I'll see you in about 45 minutes and we'll check the resin. Okay, so we're back. It's been about 45 minutes and we're going to see if we can put a design in this resin. So I've got a little straight pin 
I don't know if you can see that. It's got a little head on it. And I'm just going to do a design in here. So I'm going to start in this one. And you want to be careful not to scratch the bottom of your mold. And just do any design you want. And we're just dragging the ink around on the other side. I think I want to do this one from the bottom. And then that way. Okay. And I'm just hoping this works because from here right now you really can't see anything. We won't know till tomorrow if it worked or not. I see my light is flickering there and freaking out on us. I can't remember. Did I do that one, Mom? No. My mom is standing here, too. Say hi, Mom. Hi. That one I can see a little bit of yellow showing. So I want to drag that yellow through. I want to make sure I get that mixed through. We'll see what that one looks like on the front. I did that with the heart one too. And these I'm just going to do in sort of a diagonal pattern since if they do turn out I'll be hanging them from the corner. And don't tell mom, shh, if these turn out, they're going to be Mother's Day presents. I didn't hear that. Oh, good. My grandson is seven, and we're meeting up with him and his mom in two weeks for camping. We're actually getting together at the campground the day before Mother's Day. So I figured if I could have one of these made up for him to give his mom, that would be so exciting for him. He's seven, by the way. Okay, and that's it. I think I got them all. And now we just have to patiently wait till tomorrow. That's the hardest part. And I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye-bye for now. Well, hello again. So these have been curing for 24 hours now, and I'm really anxious to see what they look like. I am super excited about these. I would love to give them as Mother's Day gifts if they turn out. And hopefully the second time is the charm. That one is really, really dark. Not thrilled with that one at all. Let's move on to these. That one turned out pretty. You can see the yellow and the red and the, there's some green down here and some blue. It's still a little dark, but it's pretty. Okay, and then this one. This one turned out nice. Okay, so I like that one. This one looks like it has a few air bubbles in it, but it's still pretty. I like all this yellow down at the bottom. And let's see how the heart turned out. Oh, that one's gorgeous. Look at that. 
You'll have to excuse my hands are picking up a little ink from the mold. That is very pretty. This one's a little dark again, but I like it. I think next time maybe I'll add more white, the sinker white, and that'll brighten up the colors more. This one's pretty. Still got some air bubbles in it though. And as always, I will provide links to everything I used in the description. This one is gorgeous. That is my absolute favorite. That one's going to my mom for Mother's Day. I'll mount that and make a necklace out of it. That is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Okay. There's definitely some really good ones in here. Let me just bring them up to the camera. So these are my favorites. I think they turned out really nicely. So I would consider this one a success and I think I can do them even better next time. So that's all I have for this for today and I will see you next week and we'll have some more fun. Don't know if it'll be a DIY project or another craft project, but it'll be something good. I'll see y'all soon. Bye-bye. Okay, so I noticed as I was reviewing the video that the colors were not showing up in these. They were just looking really, really dark, and the video was not doing them justice. So now I'm trying to show them, but I just keep getting glares no matter what I do. But I'm just going to do the best I can and show them to you. I think they turned out very well. The only ones that didn't is these squarish ones. I'm not really thrilled with them at all. I don't know if it's because they were too deep. That one's pretty, but the rest of them I don't really care for. So overall I would consider this a great success. That one's going to be my mom's Mother's Day present. And so if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, maybe subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything, and join me next week for something else fun. So I will see you then. Bye-bye for now.